I'm Mike from Motec. Behind the camera is Jay. Episode four on BMW 320SI. It's probably gonna be Martin's favorite. I think all detailers love the engine bay, probably because it's the dirtiest part of the car because no one ever bothers cleaning it. Um, this is what it looks like afterwards. Jay's already overlaying B-roll probably as we're talking or later in the video of what it was like to start with. It wasn't particularly oily or dirty, just never being cleaned. And the fact that this has this carbon fiber rocker cover from BMW M, the engine is lower down, like we said in the previous video, it's further back towards the bulkhead to emulate the sort of touring car, getting that weight distribution further to the middle. You can really see it. Um, it does look as good as new, and that's a bit of a silly thing to say. Most of the cars we do have in here are fairly new, but this doesn't look too far off them. So let's see how the process and how he did it. Right then, mine. So your favourite part, the engine bay. Yeah, which is the dirtiest bit on the car. It is indeed. So do you want to just talk us through what you're going to use, how you're going to achieve it, how you're going to clean it? Right, nice and simple. Um, we're going to clean it just using, very simple, um, the multi-purpose cleaner, uh, W5. Yep. Uh, and then also for the really oily bits, around So, so as well, obviously you mentioned something about not using much water because obviously it's a petrol engine. You want... Yeah, there's, there's always a risk of kind of tasting up or you know staying away from any kind of really exposed wires. There, there's a few areas which I might kind of look at and take it, but on the whole, we want to we want to use water, but we want to use a small amount of water. I want to get the majority away, and then I'll probably use the steamer as well when we're inside. Perfect. Let's get your hands dirty, then, Mike. Right then, Martin. So we've finished out, obviously outside with the engine bay. Yep. Um, you said you didn't want to use a lot of water to obviously protect the engine so that we don't yeah. like wash it out. And now you're using a steamer. Yeah. So now we're inside, out of this bad weather. Um, it, to be fair, I got a lot of it, a lot of the dirt up with the with the water. But now let's just try and get all the little fiddly bits, just with a bit of steam. It's nice and safe. A bit more time consuming, but it's the right way to do it. I'm guessing the steam just helps like break up the grit, like the yeah. little bits that are quite like tough from just like a water wash, if it, that makes it sense. It is, yeah. So we can really be intricate, we can take our time. Um, it's really the heat. That's what we're getting from the steam is the heat. You can use chemicals along with it. Um, again, the, the multi-purpose cleaner, the tar remover for, for really stubborn bits. Um, but it just makes it that finishing real detail. Uh, and then we can dress it after that. Perfect, let's crack on then. Right, so Martin, just to clear things up then. Yep. Um, so we've steamed the engine bay, got yep. everything out of it, and then you've sprayed loads of dressing over it, and yes. then you've used your blower. Yes, um, I've used my blower just to blow in all the little crevices and just push the dressing around, really. Okay, um, cool. And it what... mostly works on the kind of black plastics, and there's quite a bit of plastics here. I'm um, guessing the benefit to that is just to literally get it into the areas that you can't. It just disperses it better. Yeah, it just disperses it better. And then we don't want to put loads in here, but we want to put enough just to just to really make everything black, really black. Cool. Shall we crack on with the interior now then? Yeah, on to the interior.
the mine. So we're nearly at the end of the interior. Yes. Um, so do you want to just give us a quick sort of overhaul of like the products that you use to clean them and like the benefits of them? If that's yeah. Right? So I've been using um, the uh, TriClean um, on really most of the surfaces, the plastics and uh, the leather. Uh, steering wheel which is pretty bad um, and to be fair this does everything and it's really it's got the antibacterial properties as well so at the moment especially it's, it's the one to have. going to finish the video in here um i used this car for a couple of weeks before the m4 got delivered and then it was just a, a pretty grubby place to be like never really been looked after not ripped or torn on the seats there was no damage or anything like that. just really grubby um the steering wheel i, I knew it was bad <laughs> i didn't realize how bad it was and now generally like the quality of this car that bmw built i don't think they're going to be this good on, on modern cars it's just perfect. All the switch gear is nice and clean. The leather from the handbrake is perfect. The center armrest is really nice. It's the 50-50 split, so you can see the fact that the side you lean on, looks like the side you don't lean on. Um, Marty's just knocked it out of the park with this. You know, the G-Technic products just on here. Just lovely. Um, just what a nice place to be. Next video, we are gonna to start to add a few minor modifications, update number plates, badges, that sort of stuff. So make sure you stay tuned to that. But so far, blown away by it. Hope you're all enjoying it. And please like, share and subscribe.